A jury in Idaho has found a mother guilty of killing her own children and her husband's first wife. As Chris Van Cleve reports, witnesses testified the so-called doomsday mom believed her kids were possessed by evil spirits. Guilty. The so-called Idaho doomsday mom learns her fate. Guilty. It took less than seven hours for the jury to find Lori Vallow Daybell guilty on all charges, including first-degree murder of her two youngest children and conspiracy in the death of her husband Chad's then-wife Tammy. My heart hurts for these three. Family members were emotional after the verdict. JJ, Papa misses you. I miss you. Larry Woodcock first reported his seven-year-old grandson Joshua J.J. Vallow and 16-year-old Tylee Ryan missing in 2019. I stood up and I said, where are the children? Where are the children? Give us back our children. Jurors saw this video of the newly married Daybell's poolside in Hawaii while being served with a warrant to produce the missing children. Do you have any questions regarding that? J.J.'s body and Tylee's remains were found on Chad Daybell's property nine months after their disappearance. There's nothing okay about killing children. You threw them away like garbage. This phone call was among the evidence, along with a hair matching Vallow Daybell's DNA found on the tape wrapped around J.J.'s body. Prosecutors claimed she used her religion to justify the murders and funded her lifestyle with the kids' Social Security checks and Tammy's life insurance. The defense rested without calling a single witness. They argued she fell victim to her cult leader husband. Power, sex, and greed. For what? For what? And Chris Van Cleve joins us now from Boise, Idaho. Chris, take us inside the courtroom for the verdict. It Catherine, the bailiff, before the jury came out, announced, one, they had locked the doors to the courtroom and instructed everyone to stay quiet, said they would not tolerate outbursts, and there were none. In fact, the room was silent as those verdicts started to roll in. I was sitting across from J.J.'s grandparents, and they, as well as relatives with them, uh, they, they, they sobbed quietly. They audible sighs of relief. J.J.'s grandfather humped his fist at one point when one of the guilty verdicts was read, uh, and then they all embraced each other arm in arm as the hearing continued. Uh, one observer said she felt it was almost a surreal experience to be in there. She said she didn't feel like she had took a breath until the last of those verdicts had been read. Uh, you, you know, people had thought this would happen yesterday. Uh, many of the observers to this trial because the prosecution case seemed so strong. Ultimately, it was less than eight hours of deliberation to come up with a guilty on all counts. And one thing that, I, I, that stood out to me, we, we watched as Lori did not react at all visibly to being convicted of murdering her own children. But we hear from a source close to the trial that what she did react to was her own attorney's closing arguments. She was unhappy that they tried to pivot and pin the blame on her husband, Chad. That's what she reacted to. Oh, Chris, thanks for that firsthand account from inside the courtroom. So when can we expect Lori's sentencing, and is she looking at multiple life sentences? Yeah, it is highly likely that she's going to spend the rest of her life behind bars. Sentencing is likely at least three months away here, and we're learning that she may be facing a new additional charges in relation to the death of her former husband, Charles, in Arizona, Maricopa County announcing just minutes almost after these guilty verdicts came in that they plan to seek her extradition after she's sentenced. Her husband, Chad, he also is going to go to trial. He'll be tried separately. He could face the death penalty if convicted. And just on that point, let's uh, take it a step further, Chris. Why is there this distinction between uh, Chad Daybell facing the death penalty and Lori not? Yeah, so prosecutors initially hoped to seek the death penalty in both cases. Lori's attorneys argued that they didn't have enough time to prepare a death penalty defense because of the amount of evidence they would have to go through in a short amount of time. Now, Chad's trial hasn't even been set yet. It is many months away, so his attorneys have had a lot longer to prepare their defense. They also have the benefit of watching this trial play out and know at least much of the evidence that's likely to be presented against Chad. Chris Van Clee, thanks so much for your reporting inside the courthouse.